All right, folks, we're back here for part two. As you can see, I've been a busy beaver throughout the night. I got a big area here cleared of stone. Uh, clearing wasn't really the intention. Uh, I'm just collecting stone for my first night to make the time go by. And I accidentally discovered while I was doing this that if you hit your torches, they'll fall off the wall and you can collect them again. So I'm going to get my torches back. I'm going to break this down, my little workbench. You can take it with you. Bust that leaf loose. Uh, how the heck did I get in here? Okay. Oh, oh wow. Check it out, even the cows are square in this game. See his cute little fella there? Okay. So that was uh, my first... There's some more coal if I ever need it. That was my first night in the game. Nothing really happened. I heard some weird noises outside, but nothing bothered me that I can tell. So now, I'm going to look around and see if I can find a good spot to build my first house. And up there looks like a pretty good spot to me. So, we're gonna... What is that floating around out there? Yeah, this does feel like Mario World, just stuff floating in the air. Like a, like a box with a question mark on the side of it. Okay, let's get up here. Oh, okay, you can just hold down your hop button, your jump button, your space bar, and you'll automatically jump. And there's a there's a cow stuck up on top of the mountain there. Okay, yeah, there's a there's some veins of stone running through that mountain. And just hop 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 hop. Let's see. So well, what is that? Oh, it's like a uh, oh, I guess they're big square clouds. Okay. So, I don't know if I want to be up here in the cloud, though. Seems like it might block my view a little bit. I'm really high up here. I think I could... I think I could build right here and be perfectly happy. There's some more creatures. Uh... Oh, they're, they're, they're bleating. They're meh. So they must be goats or sheep or something. This looks like a good spot. Because, uh, you got like, I can see, I can see stuff in the hills there. Uh, has a nice view up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this will work. And the, there's water, like a waterfall. There's a steep drop over here, though. Gotta be careful or I'll fall off of it. Okay. So now that I've got my spot picked out here, it doesn't have the best view actually. How about this one over here. But then it'll, it'll be high again and I'll be stuck in the cloud. Ah, this is tougher than I thought it. Yeah, it's got like a big hole. Wow. Okay, my computer froze up because I'm uploading something here. I got a big, got a big hole under my, under the thing. Wow, look at that over there. It's like a, so this world is pretty cool. I mean, it's randomly, wow, look at that drop. Okay, I, in real life, I actually hate heights. Even in video games, they make me nervous. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, there's a lot of holes up here. It's, this could be treacherous. Tell you what, how about... Mm, you know, back there. Back there is going to be the spot. Okay, so I got my shovel out. And uh, you want to use the, the tool that's the fastest for whatever you're working on. So I guess shovels are good for dirt. Yeah, look how fast that goes. Shovels are good for like dirt and sand and gravel. Pickaxes are good for metal and stone. And you have like a regular axe you can build 
which is good for chopping down trees. So I'm just going to kind of clear the top of this off a little bit and make myself some space. Got a stone shovel. Oh wow, look at that. It just takes one, like two hits. Get rid of all these flowers that are in the way. Hopefully this isn't like some kind of Indian burial ground. Okay. Just want to flatten this out a little bit just so I have like a space to work with. I've got a buttload of stone. Okay, come on, chop, 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 chop. Okay, da da da. Just want to have a nice flat. There, what my. Dang it. Yeah, this will. This will have to do because I don't want to stop and build just one shovel for just this little bit of dirt. Okay, I'll collect all the dirt. Okay. And I will put it in my hand so that I can, like, yeah, I'll just level this out a little bit, give myself some room to work. There's a there's a sheep staring at me, which is really creepy. Bat! I hit him. He dropped something. Dropped like a, his tail fell off or something. Okay. Okay. Well, this is my. This will be my flat area up here to start building on. So I'm gonna place some stones. You right click to place your stones. Oh, that's cool. You can. You can strafe and just hold down your butt. Hold down your button. Okay. Don't want to make it too huge to start with because I don't. Yeah, you know, like that, I'll run out of stone eventually. And I gotta make it big enough. I gotta be economical about it. I gotta make it uh, small enough. Uh, what am I talking about? I gotta make my the wall tall enough to keep stuff out. So basically, you need double the amount of stone to build a wall because stuff can hop over one space. Creatures can just jump right over that. So you gotta make it double tall. So when you're doing your calculations for how much stone you need, always remember that you need twice as much. And there's my game kind of freezing up on me a little bit again. It's not the game, though. It's my computer. It's struggling. Because I am uploading. And this computer is pretty old. Which is, you know, it says a lot about this game. That this game is so big, so vast, that my computer can run, you know, when I'm not uploading, it runs it really smoothly. And I have an old computer. So that's good programming. Whoever you know, whoever designed the game, uh, knows what they're doing. So props to them. So I'm gonna build a uh, a floor in here, so I can I can look out over my wall. Nothing can get in because it's uh, two blocks high. Okay. Like a oh. Didn't mean to put one there. Actually, you know what? I think I have. I have enough stone. I'm just gonna do this. Watch it. Well, just gonna finish the floor. Why don't I just do the whole floor in stone? It's like kind of a waste of stone, but I happen to have a lot of it because I spent my first night in that cave. I, I got to the cave quick enough, and I had uh, I had wood with me, so I could keep making handles. And the stone itself provides the, the, the blade, like the, the rest of the item. All you need is a little bit of wood to make handles with. And if you have stone, you can always make yourself a new tool. So I went through about six or seven uh, pickaxes while I was in there. And it gives me 75 stone left. 
I could build this wall up probably one more level if I wanted to. But for now, I'm going to keep the monsters away. How do I get back in there? Uh, how do we get back into our fort? I'm going to need to make a stepping stone. But if I make a stepping stone, monsters can use it. So I'll make it out of dirt. Because dirt is easy to break. And I'll just lock myself in here all night. I'll set up my little building item here. My little work bench. And I'll make my replacement tools overnight. But I do have my, my very basic uh, house all set up here. And uh, when we come, when you guys get back, it'll be morning. And... Uh, We'll go out and maybe collect some more stone and maybe get a little bit more wood and potentially go down there and take a look at those hills and see what's in them. So uh, we'll see you then.